my name is K3GamerK3 and today we're going to be looking at how to make connected textures using CTM with um, Optifine in Minecraft. Alright, so what you want to do is open up the block that you're working on in your photo editor of choice. I'm just using the default cold texture and I'm editing in paint.net. Photoshop's another good choice, just whatever you prefer. So this is what we're going to start with, and if we look at our CTM texture guide, we're starting with block number three, because that's a block that doesn't connect to anything else, and that's what we already have. So let's go ahead and rename this guy to three, and we'll just leave him be. So let's uh, duplicate his layer. So what we want to do is create a two by one using this block and then we'll kind of merge them in the center. So what we want to do is expand the canvas. So you want to go width-wise 32. You don't want the aspect ratio may change, you just want to have it longer. Alright. And then we're going to get rid of the background on number three here. There we go. Alright, so if we select the block, and what we can do is invert our selection there, copy, paste another one into our second layer here, put it right next to it, deselect. Alright, so we've got two side by side. This is what the game has it look like now when they're sitting next to each other. What we want to do is blend these two through the center. So let's just take uh, some sample of the texture, and if you're working with something more complicated, it's going to be a lot harder to make this look good. And we'll kind of stick that in there. Maybe we'll zigzag it down some. Could use something in the top there. Let's use something like that. And maybe just a little bit down in the bottom. There we go. I'd say that looks pretty good. Alright. So now what we want is a new layer. So we're going to isolate just half number zero. Take this. And we can see down here at the bottom that's a 16 by 16 area, which is the full block size. Co uh, sorry, copy from this layer, paste in this layer. Now if I hide those, just got just that left half. And make one more. We're gonna call this one one. And make one more. We're gonna call this one two. All right. So two is the right half. So from our original, we want to select that right half. And don't worry, it's there. It's just hidden. Copy and paste. All right. So all we have to do now is cr uh, kind of merge these two into creating one. The best way I found to do that is to take half of your left block. So this is an 8 by 16 now. Copy that. And this is going to be the left half of the center block because that's where it merges to the side. Uh, it would actually help if we copied from the right layer. Okay. And then we're going to copy. Right, the left half of this one, 8 by 16, copy. Uh, again, helps if we copy from the right layer, copy from that one, paste in that one, and that's going to go. There we go. Alright, now if I hide some layers and just show what we have, we've got our three block, we've got our double that we just use for editing got the left block, we've got the middle block, and we've got the right block, and actually we want to slide this guy over, because we're going to put our canvas back to a regular size here. Again, helps if we're working on the right layer. There we go. Alright, so everything we need is on the left half here, so let's go ahead and crop to selection. And we can delete this layer now, we don't need them anymore. 
All right, so now we have all of our different photo sections. So now we're going to go into our folder. So open up your resource pack folder, go to your assets, Minecraft. And you want a folder named Optifine that uses uh, CTM folder for textures. All right, in here, we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it the block name. Coal ore. And in here is where we're going to save our new files. So we want each of these as a dot, uh, PNG. So I'm only showing block zero. We're going to file, save folder we just created. All right, save. And just say, OK, a bunch flatten. That's fine. I got rid of the others, but we'll just control Z to get them back. All right, hide that one, show this one. And we're going to save as. This one's going to be called one. PNG, save, OK, flatten. All right, control Z again to get the rest back. And we're just going to do this two more times. All right, so we can close these now. So now if we open up our coal ore folder, we've got all of our images, and now we just need the properties file. So we're going to right click, new, text document, and we're gonna call this coal ore. And make it a dot properties. Yes. All right, now in there, now we want it to say match blocks, just like that, equals cool underscore or, and only that B should be capitalized. On a new line, write method equals horizontal. Okay, and then tiles, you want zero through three. And faces all. You could also do this as north, south, top, and bottom. That makes it a little more consistent. It'll make it more like tubes, but it means the texture doesn't show up on that last side. But it does make sense of how the top stripes. Um, I'd rather have it shown on both sides and have the top not make as much sense, so I'm going to do all and save. All right, so now we just got to open up Minecraft. Make sure you have your texture pack loaded up, and now when you place the blocks, and make these nice layers. So we can see the top connects this way, the side connects this way, and it connects this way, which was what I was saying, it doesn't quite make sense of the top, but I'd rather see that than just not have any connected texture on the side and pretty much have it not be there half the time or a third of the time, however you want to look at it. But it's, uh, it's pretty cool overall, and that's all there is to it. In the next video, we're going to look at full connected textures, so you can see how to make these connect full top and bottom as well as just horizontally. It's a little bit more complicated, but we'll do that in part two. My name is K3GamerK3, and I'll see you next time.